Have you ever spoken about a product or service with your friends just to log into your social media account and an ad pops up about the same thing you just spoke about? Hmm, cue the suspense music because you're going to want to pay attention to what the president and CEO of Digital Global Marketing, Kamal Brown, has to say on the topic. Good morning. Good morning. How Dada. are you? I'm good. Thanks for That's having me. That's scary though, mm. that you would be discussing something and then it just pop up. And you say, look, I'm psychic. <laughs> but are we, are we all psychic or is there something happening, Kamal, that we need to know I about? I mean, you know, te the technological landscape has changed in such a way. I think a lot of people aren't cognizant of actually um, what they're bringing into their homes, what this little tool in our pockets, our smartphones that we carry around are actually, um, you know, the data it's capturing, who it's giving the data to, based on the apps that we have installed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you know, a lot of people look at um, devices like Amazon Echoes and, you know, Google Homes and all the smart tech. You know, everybody's getting smart homes now. Mm -hmm. Everybody's buying these respective technologies and I'm putting them in. I have like three in my house, right? Um, and we're not cognizant that these devices are listening uh, at some time, there was a... There when was you a, say listening, what do mm -hmm. you mean? All right, so <laughs> realize that when, even your phone, you can say, okay, Google, and the phone will wake up. Now, if it wasn't listening, it couldn't take that voice command, right? Okay. So that means it's persistent in listening for certain keywords. Mm -hmm. Or rather, it's listening to everything around. However, it's not capturing any data unless you say the keyword, all right? Hopefully. <laughs> we don't build the tech, we don't know. But, <laughs> you know, Google is speaking to the fact that Google and all the, you know, Apple, everything... Um, one of the, you know, the, the lines of demarcation, however, is Apple's devices process the data locally, meaning it never need, leaves your device. Okay. However, you know, the other vendors, it sends it to the cloud, which means, you know, it's open to being hacked. So, for example, you could say, it's a funny story, uh, you know, someone having a weight, because, you know, they're smart scales, mm -hmm. right? Stepping on the scale, Amazon, what's my weight today? Right? Tells your weight. Um, and then you might find some, you know, nutritional supplements. Stop um, on you, on <laughs> but the thing, is, the thing is, it's not, I mean, privacy online, I think, um, it would really be tied to the apps that you have installed because these vendors, Google, the big guys, they're not um, sharing your data mm -hmm. openly. Of course, this but doesn't mean you're not, not open sharing to, hack, data, to being but hacked. That, right, that's what I was going to say, that mm -hmm. they're not sharing it. But, th but that doesn't prevent someone else. I I've heard of this cloud, you know, Kemal. I mean, the reality is we, we can't stop it. Yeah. I think you have to be, uh, in being proactive at home, you have to kind of be conscious of what you're connecting to these devices. So mm -hmm. if you're connecting your calendar, Google knows where you'll be. If you're collecting, uh, connecting your car, it knows where you're driving. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of data around us, right, in terms of the devices are collecting so much, we're not even cognizant. When you open your phone, for example, none of us actually reads those terms and agreements that we sign. For right? nothing at all. Nobody reads it. You just yeah. click accept. But what are you really accepting? Mm -hmm. Right? You don't know. And so you can't get upset if you're not doing the due diligence because of, you know, our kind of lazy speed economy and how we're moving. Um, and then, you know, you might get yourself into situations where you might so go I, on. I, so, I, for I, example, Facebook is a very simple example. Um, by virtue of you using the platform, your data is actually available to advertisers. Now, that's very distinct from like a, the Amazon Echoes, the home ecosystem on your phone, mm -hmm. because they're not giving it to advertisers. If they do get it, it's probably an app that you've installed that mm -hmm. is feeding your data, which you, when you accept the permissions on the, the respect, indeed, so. without, you know, unknowingly, just say, yeah, man, I, I will give this data. I will. So some apps ask you for your contacts. Can I uh, analyze your contacts? Mm -hmm. You just say, yeah, man, you can analyze my contacts because it's fine that you're using that data, but you're not sure based on the publisher of that app. Nobody does the research. You just go online, you, you download. What are they using it for? Indeed, what mm -hmm. they're using it for, where these vendors are. Is it based out of the Ukraine? Is it based out of wherever? You don't know. Yeah. So I think there's a, there's a large personal responsibility that we have to take, you know, our digital lives in our hands. Mm -hmm. And that goes for Facebook as well. That goes to, you know, digital platforms, social media, what you're sharing online. Because many times we share our locations that can be dangerous. All the time. Maybe. Right? Um, you're sharing what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, the play-by-play. -play. And I'm guilty as well, right? So it's not like I'm not yeah. guilty. But I think we have to take some level of personal responsibility in that. The technology, it is listening. Mm -hmm. But by virtue of their statements, it's not listening to everything. But there was a case where um, Amazon was actually given a warrant. A murder took place and an echo was in the home. And Amazon was given a warrant to say, give us the background noise that took place mm -hmm. um, because it might give some insight into the murder. One of the things I, I, I like to say to people, because sometimes they'll say, oh, but, but the things I put on, not giving the information, but, but, but they can use the algorithms they can use. Mm -hmm. So if you're always logging on and looking for nutritional things to eat, mm -hmm. they can surmise that Indeed. you're trying to lose weight or you're a fitness person. Indeed. So, so it's mm -hmm. not just... It's not just putting in specific data, mm -hmm. but they can use the things and the patterns yeah. 
yeah. to, to come up with what in the, the, a profile. The interesting thing is with digital, because we run a, I run a digital marketing agency. So, you know, looking at Facebook's algo advertising, that's what we do online. Mm -hmm. And the reality is Facebook in the like button, right? The like button is something that is geared towards analyzing your preferences. That's mm -hmm. what it really is. And they, they expanded the emotional palette. Because, you know, there's, I mean, the emotional palette. No, there's angry, there's love, there's like, there's different things. What that is actually doing, when you click like, what you're telling Facebook is show me more of this. Then you're informing Facebook to tell advertisers, show them more of this. This is the person that is, you know, based on their choices online, based on what they're clicking, based on the pages that they're visiting, they're interested in certain products. So your products would, e would be an easier sell to these respective people. Right, right. So you're training the platform. So a lot of people say, you know, social media has no utility. It's based on how you're using the platform. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody that's looking for motivational quotes and constant learning, personal it development, will it will come up. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at different things and it's only parties, that will come up. So, I mean, it's really echoing your personal preferences mm -hmm. and the data. Yes, it is scary. The funny thing is when you go to Amazon, you're looking in your cart, you go to Facebook, the same ad is there. That's cookies. That's something that the internet has been doing for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the mar marketers speak to the fact that it takes seven times before you see something for you to purchase it. Yeah. So these are marketing tactics Things more that we so have than... To go. Yeah, man. All right. Thank you so much, Kemal. It's food for thought. Mm. And people, if you, the more you use it, the more you need to understand it. Indeed. President Indeed. and CEO of Digital Global Marketing, Kemal Brown. We're going to break